Hello everyone, welcome to BI Consulting Pro. Today we are going to start a new series. We are going to start Power BI Admin Tutorial series from today onwards. In this series, you will learn everything you need to know about Power BI Admin roles and how to admin Power BI into your organization. Today is the very first episode in which we are going to discuss about understanding Power BI Administrator roles. To administer Power BI or for your organization, you should be either Power BI Admin or Power BI Platform Admin or Microsoft 365 Global Admin. If you have not been assigned to any of these roles, then you cannot control Power BI. That means that you cannot fulfill all the Power BI Admin roles and responsibilities. Microsoft 365 User Management Administrators assign users to the Power BI Admin or Power BI Platform Admin roles in the Microsoft 365 Admin Center or by using a PowerShell script. Users in Power BI Admin and Power Platform Admin roles have full control over organization-wide Power BI settings and administrative features except for licensing. In my previous videos, I have already shown you some of the capabilities of Power BI Admin roles. If you are not aware, then I would request you to go and watch all those videos. However, this series would be dedicated for Power BI Admin roles and its responsibilities and what kind of features you can access through Admin Portal. Let's move forward. There are certain limitations and considerations as well while we are going to talk about the understanding of Power BI Administrator roles. So you should always keep in your mind. The Power BI Admin and Power Platform Admin roles don't provide these capabilities. That is, first is the ability to modify users and licenses within the Microsoft 365 Admin Center. Secondly, access to the audit logs. If you would like to access the audit logs, then you should have permission under the Microsoft 365 Global Admin role. And in my upcoming videos, I'll let you know how you can access the audit logs as well. Note, in Power BI documentations, whenever you are going on Microsoft websites and you are reading the Microsoft documentations regarding the Power BI Admin roles or Power BI features, Power BI Admin refers to users in either the Power BI Admin or Power Platform Admin roles only. The documentation makes it clear when the Microsoft 365 Global Admin role is required for a task. So always keep this in your mind. Now let's discuss how we can assign a role. The very first is with Microsoft 365 Admin Center and another is using the PowerShell. So you can choose either of these options and you can go ahead with one which you are most comfortable with. Now the very first we are going to discuss with MS365 Admin Center. The very first step is you have to log in into your Microsoft 365 Admin Center and there you have to go to the users on your left hand side panel and then you have to click on the active users. Once you click on the active users, another panel would open on your canvas and then you have to select the users that you want to assign the role to and under the roles, you can click on the manage roles. Once you will click on the manage roles, then there would be another panel would pop up over there on your right hand side and there you can select the roles that you want to assign to that particular user. So these are the three main steps that you need to follow in order to assign a Power BI Admin role to a user with MS365 Admin Center. Now let's discuss with the PowerShell. In order to assign users the admin role with PowerShell, first you have to connect to your Azure Active Directory. For that you can see the script and I'll also provide you the link of this complete documentation from where you can get it. The second step would be to get the object ID for the Power BI Admin role. And for that, what you can do, you can run a command saying get Azure AD directory role and then you will get the object ID. The step number third would be to get the user's object ID. And in order to get the object ID, you have to run another command that would be get Azure AD user. And you can see on the screenshot, 
Once you will run this command, you will get the object ID for that particular user. The last step would be to add the member to the role. Now, for that also, we have a particular shell script command that you can use and which is over here on the screen you can see add hyphen azure ad directory role member once you will run this then you have to provide the object id and reference object id once you are going to provide both of these then you would be able to add that particular user in the power bi admin role once you are done with these steps then the next part would be to administering power bi into your organization or to learn more about Power BI portal. For those, you have to stay tuned to our channel for the upcoming videos and we will get you through each and every step that you need to know for the Power BI administration. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any queries or concern, please visit www.biconsultingpro.com. Don't forget to subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon for the latest updates.